Hey guys, Wolfie here and welcome back to the channel. As always, the usual disclaimer, any opinion here is mine and mine alone. This is a product review, believe it or not, and if you're kind of wondering, I don't look or sound too well. Well, here is what happened yesterday during paid time off. I jumped the gun to get the new um, COVID-19 vaccine. And you can probably tell some of the side effects have been kicking in and kicking my ass. Meaning the, um, to put it kindly, the, um, the sore arm, which is still, per still there, but not as much fatigue and nausea. Now I will admit here that I did not get Moderna this time. I got Pfizer because where I'm at here in the States, it's like I got an email from CVS saying, hey, the new vaccine is available in select areas. And I jumped the gun to grab the vaccine because it's been up close to a year since I got the last one. So I am as up to date on that on the vaccines as possible. This is my first time taking on Pfizer because all my previous doses of the vaccine have been more Moderna. There's a bit of a disclaimer of why I might be looking like shit. So anyway, so we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of this particular video. It is a product review and I am actually wearing it. So what this particular ring is, is a, um, it's a bit of like a heart monitor or like step, you know, tracker, all this stuff. Cause it's kind of like same thing with, with the watch I'm wearing. So, but with this particular ring is like you do wear it. Um, I'm going to give some details over on Amazon, which is where I got it from. And no, it's not the Samsung ring. I refuse to pay a few hundred dollars for the Samsung ring. Okay, folks. So, um, I'll be right back with the information. Now, this is, I think this is the brand of the particular ring I'm wearing. Now, it says here, um, Cuff, Cuff Furniture. I mean, it's a bit of a weird brand, you know, but it is what it is. Um, this is pretty much what you're going to get, like, in, when you, like, order it on Amazon. It's pretty much this ring in the case. And I actually have the case right here. Now, I do want to warn people, if you get this ring, you have to get a um, particular cable and um let me see if i can get this in the film right there i'm going to bring it up close up so you're going to need a usb c where one of the ends of the of the um, the with one of the ends of the cable being a usb c in order to charge it so it gives you some of the numbers you see here um <clears throat> 10 days like for regular like usage time and then the standby time being like two close to two months and uh, right here, this is pretty much what you get in the box, just to reiterate. Now, um, I'm going to zoom in on the picture a little bit. So, um, it's not the outer metal where what, uh, where the wearer doesn't have to be worried about. It's about the inner metal right here. You see the green where it's charged or whatever. And then I'm going to zoom it in further and point out this particular part. So, this particular part you want connected to um, the palm side of your hand. So that way, um, like varying aspects, tights, measurements are as accurate as possible. I've been wearing this since I got it. And it's like no reactions, nothing. Because again, it's not the outer material that matters. It's actually what's the inner material that matters more. And I mention this because there are people like myself who have allergic re reactions to like plated jewelry, meaning that silver plated jewelry or gold plated jewelry which gives off a potential allergic reaction to those like copper, lead, and nickel. And if it's a ring, your finger turns green. And this has happened to me before, so yeah. So it's one of those things where like, the material here is like something to not worry about, which is a lifesaver. Otherwise, I would not have gotten it. Now, regarding the price, and this is what I caught on Amazon. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this number changed. And mind you, the number you see here is United States currency. Now I have here that's a size 11, size 10. I believe that's a size 9. I have big hands for a female. I mean, and I'm not ashamed to say I have man hands for a female. So, okay. So it's about 34 United States dollars. That's the price as before, like taxes and shipping, all that jazz. And then you have a few colors here where it's like 
silver, black, and gold. That's the outer band as you see here. <laughs> now, regarding more information about this particular, um, yeah, okay, so I actually am going the right direction. So regarding this particular ring, it's uh, like very similar to what you see in the Samsung ring, and I think the Samsung ring is like close to 400 United States dollars. And the number alone is why, I, it's a reason why I refuse to get the Samsung one. So basically it's like, it's like a backup in, in case, you know, you can't wear watches like this, whatever, which has a tracker, all that stuff, all that stuff. At least you have like something you can wear. Now, um, on, on that, like I said, this does not have a USB, like, C cable, which you need. But those cables are easy to get, like, Walgreens, Target, Walmart. Best Buy, whatever have you. They are practically, they're available practically ever, everywhere and by what I'm referring to here, the cable itself. Not so much the product. Now, um, I was, for a while I was, I was watching, I was thinking it was a Mr. Beast video where it was like they were using like the Samsung version. And I'm thinking to myself, why should I be wasting about 400 bucks if I could find something like more reasonable? Again, this is, um, let, this is like about 34 um, United States dollars and I'm like I might as just like I have pretty specific criteria as to like what jewelry I can wear and what I buy for jewelry and it's and, and thing is with my uh, allergies to like the nickel copper lead family when regarding the realm of jewelry it's just like that sort of thing kind of like is a is perhaps the reason why I'm very picky with the jewelry I wear and I actually don't wear much jewelry in the first place so what I like about this and what I don't like about it um scores all that stuff is going to be here in this video and uh, believe it or not um the scores are going to be the same for this particular one um because it's like oh, let me rephrase it a little bit so it's like despite the fact I have no notes on these on this at all no notes not a so what I like about this is that I'm glad there is an alternative like to the Samsung ring with price wise. I'm going to zoom this in really quickly one more time just to emphasize. I mean, if you know your ring size and it's like and you're paying less than 40 bucks United States for something like this, regardless if it's like black, silver or gold, it's like that's a steal. And we're in the United States alone, we're looking at an economy where it's like, um, to put it um, mildly, it's like you're talking about artificial intelligence threatening jobs left and right. Despite the previous claims saying, hey, we're, they're, they're here to assist us, like, but people are not using artificial intelligence as intended. That's a counter to the, to the whole claim. It's like either use it as intended or don't go crying when your job is gone. That's just how I feel about the matter. And I like the fact that this is a more a reasonable price and a, another option for those like who are looking for a ring like this. That's just an effort there, no, nothing to see. Uh, but anyway, um, so basically it's like, I like the, the, that's the thing I like about this the most. It's like, it's one of plenty of options. And um, the thing here I really like is just like, it looks like a wedding band. It could fool people. I mean, and fortunately, nobody at my job has even asked me about this. Because, again, it's a, it's a it's like health monitor ring as opposed to a watch. And I'm a little, I'm on the uh, cautious side, but cautious optimistic about this, the life of the battery, like, of the, of the case here. Being a 60-day standby without needing to charge it. And then you have this on 10 days alone without it. I'm cautiously optimistic about that. So it's just like, it's one of those things I'm, it's going to be a bit of a wait and see. But it's really good value for the buck. I mean, you just have to go out and purchase a USB-C cable. And those cables, it's just, as long as one of those sides is a USB-C, you're fine. I mean, if it's like the USB-C, USB-C cable, and you have that super fast charger, even better. But as long as one of the ends of that cable is a USB-C, you're, you're straight. Now, um, besides the price, I mean, the, like the sizing, you know, that's really good. Like for like those who are like half bigger fingers or smaller fingers, it's really good. I mean, it's just a really great product overall. 
And it also serves, and this is another thing I like about it, it's a great backup, let's just say you can't wear any watch for any reason. I mean, this is like a health monitor watch or whatever. If you're able to wear a ring but not a watch, this is actually a great backup to like what you need. And again, there is an app um, on, for this particular product. Let me see if I can grab it real quick. And before I go further into this video, I have a bizarre thing with my apps. I'm pretty picky with what I have. So you um, have my gym, Ticketmaster, that sort of thing. Um, so the the um, one I'm pointing to here on the lower left where like you see me and then you see who I'm pointing to. So that's the app you need for this ring. And that's called JU Pro. I believe this is in the instruction manual for this particular um, ring. Now, when it comes to some dislikes, it's just very minor stuff, you know, things that you want, just want to vent about. And the only real thing I don't like is that, why did this not come out sooner? I mean, this is a really good product in my personal opinion. Now, regarding the product itself, um, if I am able to, I will leave a, um, I will leave a link in the description below for this particular item because it's just like, it's a, it's a great solid backup let's just say you want a ring like this but you're unwilling to pay the 400 united states dollars for the samsung one but you want something like that does what th that samsung ring does this is actually a very good alternative and it's a little less than a tenth of the price so it's just like yeah i just wondering uh, for me i'm thinking to myself i'm like why did this why did this either why did this not come out sooner or in my personal case, why did I not get it as soon as I could? Now, the only thing I don't like about this, but it's again, it's more like a venting thing. And it's just like a lack of a USB-C cable. But because the avail availability of that particular cable is like, there, you could name practically a store worldwide. And it's like, it's like they have it in some capacity. Is the USB-C cable needed to charge it? But I, in the in the sense, I understand because it's like you're talking about the cable you need to charge it, and like some type of outlet source to like plug that cable in. So this is where it's like I don't really like the fact that there's no charging cable. But I get why. I get the why. I understand the why. So on that, I'm going to check something real quick. So again. Just to reiterate, I'm not 100%, but that's because I was I got the new jab, the, and this time it's Pfizer. All my previous uh, COVID vaccine doses are were Moderna, and basically this new one just kicked my ass. So, so that's the thing. With, that's why I'm sounding the way I do is because of the Pfizer vaccine. I got it yesterday afternoon. I jumped it at it when as soon as I could, and I'm glad I did. So, regarding the scores, the intended audience score and my personal score, and this is one of those times where the score is a perfect 10 out of 10 in both instances because you're talking about the biggest selling point this has, and that is it's a viable option if you want something like this and you don't want to pay 400 United States dollars for the Samsung version. And in a time where you look at AI, AKA artificial intelligence, threatening jobs left and right, it's like saving money at this point is going to be paramount. And this is an excellent option in my opinion. Now I could have taken points off for the lack of USB-C cable and the fact that I the fact that this really didn't come out to like when until when it did, but it's something I can completely forgive because you're talking about the, the time where it's like being a monopoly in varying areas is actually not a good idea, and I'd rather have competition, more options than fewer options. And for me, this this particular item it's a very solid investment i'm glad i went with an like a cost effective option as opposed to the samsung version because there's nothing wrong with samsung because my cell phone's samsung but there are times where going the super expensive route is not the way to go
And I'd rather have ways to save some money than to waste it. If that makes any sense. So, um, for the next couple of videos, I mean, you kind of saw the hint, um, with the Ticketmaster app. I am actually attending a baseball game the first time in more than a decade for me. Both tomorrow and Saturday evening. So, it's like... I probably won't be able to do much interacting, like, until at least Labor Day, like, Sunday or even Labor Day with anyone, but it's like, I'm, I'm having, I'm attending two baseball games, um, it's the White Sox, because for those of you who don't know me, when it comes to baseball, if it's Cubs or White Sox, I'm White Sox all the way, that's partially because my late mother grew up on the south side of Chicago, and a little record on whites in this and they're they're living on the south side when it comes to the civil rights era a bit of a historic history lesson it was more common for whites to live on the south side of chicago up to around the civil rights movement which kind of gives a little hint of like my age my mother's age when she was alive blah 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 but i'm attending a couple of white sex games one tomorrow night the other saturday evening so it's like i probably won't be available to do any content um, and there is the video on the new Hunger Games book. Um, I've filmed it already. I have yet to post it. So I'm probably going to be posting that video. Um, today is Thursday, the 29th of August. So probably going to be tomorrow where I post the, um, the Hunger Games book stuff. And probably Saturday this video goes live. I mean, just a matter of like... I, how my schedule is. I'm, I'm going to be recuperating a little bit more from the vaccine tonight, so that way I don't get myself further more sick than I <laughs> what than people think. Um, and that said, I mean, so for the next video I'm going to be filming, I'm, it's like I'm a, it's probably going to be a, I don't know, if, I really don't know. But I get, if I really had to haphazard a guess of sorts, it's probably going to be doing um, stuff for like Odin version 2. If I were to upgrade like Odin, which is the computer in my in the living room, what would I be upgrading it to? I mean, that sort of thing. And maybe it, I might be doing a little video log here and there. I don't know. It's just a matter of, it's like, I really don't have much of ideas at the moment. It's just that... Things have been, like, you know, kind of chaotic in my life, so it's just like, I may be taking a um, step back instead of, like, planning things for a little while, but it's just like, you know, my life, be, it's been kind of crazy, Yeah, I just want to, you know, enjoy some real life stuff for a little while, and then I'm hoping, um, towards the, uh, maybe towards the end of September, I figure something out. So, that, I mean, that's like, I, so I honestly don't know what's going to be the next video. I mean, that's that. Um, I, um, however, I may go into a proper venue review of the Color Factory because I did go a second time earlier this week. So, it's one of those things that's like, I, I just like, I honestly don't know at this point. But I may use the time at the White Sox games, you know, to really figure things out. Um... And then um, probably, I'm guessing, either going to be October or no, like towards the end of October or early to November, I'm probably going to be doing um, a review of an event I'm going to in October. And the event in October is wild. And now, some of you guys remember that from earlier this century. Uh, they're going to be going to the United Center. I am going to be in attendance for that. So, um... I, it's just more like, you know, I'm just going to take a few days, you know, here and there, like this week. I'm gonna, let me rephrase it. So I'm going to um, use um, this weekend to really think about the next video. Cause I have a couple of directions. It's just a matter of like, I need to take a few days to really think about it before I go f follow through with whatever. Because I do have some ideas for the Odin version 2, like, sense of why I want to address here. Um, the Color Factory venue review, I mean, I do have to really think that one through. Um, I could also do, like, a video log where, um, I do have some stuff ready for Deadpool version 2. Just a matter of, like, I just have, I have a lot to think about for that. So, um, that's it on this video. So, um, 
In the description below will be the link for this and this ring. So that's that. With Wolfie here signing off, I will catch you all on the flip side.